How you doing today, Pete? Brad Peterson. Hey, Brad. How are you? Good to meet you. How's it going today with your golf swing? Well, I tell you, it's sort of spraying all over sort the place. Sort of spraying it. I understand in your email that uh, you're having trouble with a little bit of a push cut and then a pull hook at the, uh, during during your rounds. Kind of a, a large large uh, gambit there of, of issues. You want to tell me about that a little bit? Yeah. Well, you know, I step up to the ball. Um, I feel like I feel like what I've been doing is is pretty locked in, but then when I when I get the swing out. You know, like you say, I push it right. Uh, or duck hook left. Push it left. I looked over some of your video. I know we haven't worked together yet, but there's a couple things that I found that would cause a ball to go right and duck hook left. So why don't you go ahead and set up, pretend the ball's right here, set up in a practice swing for me, and we'll talk about that. Uh, first thing, go ahead and stand behind me here. Come back here for me. And see where this, ball, this club is aimed? Yeah. Over here to the to the other side of the number one fairway when we're trying to aim over here. So you're already starting out, as we talked about earlier, with a closed stance, okay? Now you might have just done that by habit, probably not on purpose. So what we want to do is we want to have it, we're going to probably have to aim another 80 yards left, okay? Because mm. what's happening by having this closed stance and, and your shoulders offsetting, it's eliminating your turn, okay? So you're getting very steep. When you have a steep, high back swing with your driver, plus you're tall, you're gonna have a tendency to push it or duck hook it. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and work on your setup, get you aligned properly. Pretend the ball's right here. We're gonna go ahead and get you lined up. I know it's gonna feel odd, but I want you to kick this left foot out for me about four inches. Yep, that's that's closer. I'm gonna go ahead and bring your heel in for me a little bit. Yep, that's that's actually square to the target now. I must feel so odd to you. It does. But that's okay. I want it to feel like that. So go ahead and take a few practice swings for me. Take one full swing and then uh, and stop for me. Okay. All right, now go ahead and go to the top and stop for me. I know it feels weird, but try not to worry about it. Okay, you have a tendency, Pete, to get yourself in a position right about here, mm -hmm. okay? Now this is what I talked about over rotating. I talked about earlier and it caused you to get steep. You have all your weight now on the left side ahead of the golf ball. Mm -hmm. What happens is you come down right on top of the golf ball, which causes you to get ahead of it and will cause that club face to be wide open like that. Mm. But because you're, you're obviously a pretty good athlete, you can sense that you're doing this, so sometimes you overcompensate and you'll roll these hands really high like this mm -hmm. to try and save it, mm -hmm. okay. and the ball's gonna go dead left. So we're gonna get you in a better position at the top so you don't have to work so hard to hit a straight golf shot, okay? Okay, okay so let's take a practice swing again. Make sure we exaggerate our foot out, right. good. Nice and relaxed, good rhythm. Don't feel like you get to the top and you're frozen. Nice mm -hmm. and relaxed, mm -hmm. effortless, effortless. Get that shoulder behind, get that shoulder behind. Good, good. Do it again, one more time. Now slowly come down on the downswing this time. Go ahead and rotate and get behind, the, get your behind. Go ahead and stop. Now from there, rotate without, without pushing my club towards me. Yeah, we're gonna rotate behind the golf ball like a baseball player. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. one, one good full swing, practice swing here, and then let's go ahead and hit it. Nice rhythm, one, two, three, relax, relax, relax. Good, good. Oh, much better, much better. Let's go ahead and hit this ball. Exaggerate our setup, exaggerate that setup. Okay. Put, pull that right foot towards me. There you go. There you go. Narrow it up a little bit. Okay. Good. And back up this way just a hair. There you go. Okay, so we're going to relax, get the shoulder behind, and we're going to stay behind. Nice and relaxed. Get that club right behind the ball where it needs to be. There we go. Oh, that's so close. So close. You're still leaning a little bit forward, but look how much straighter that ball is starting. Mm -hmm. With these simple little fix, your feet, your alignment, getting behind the golf ball and staying behind it, we're going to turn your major disasters into small problems. You're going to be able to play, probably take nine strokes off your game in a week. Well, that's it was really great meeting you, and I hope we can work on these things further. Brad, look forward Thank to you. it. Thank you.